what kind of content should be free and what kind of content should be paid. So here's my perspective on that. Free content, you have to realize when people are consuming your, your free videos or reading your free blog posts, they are mostly wanting to have something fun, something entertaining that also helps grow their knowledge a, a, a bit. They are usually not wanting to sit down with pen and paper in hand and, and give the kind of attention that a student of a class will. That's for paid content. That's for the courses you can teach, the books you can write. But for the blog posts and the videos, make it easy to consume. Not too much energy, not too much thought, you know, something that they can just take away and go, oh, I, I, learned, I learned something. And that, you know, it, was a, it's, it feels like a productive use of wasted time, okay? That's what free content should be. P productive, like, oh, I wasted some time, but it was at least useful wasted time, right? It helped, helped in some area of my life, okay? So um, let me give you a couple of uh, analogies for, for free versus paid content. Your free content, so imagine that your ideal reader or viewer or, or client wants to go from you know, San Francisco to Seattle. So let's just say that they want to go between two cities. Maybe where they are right now, they're not satisfied and they uh, want to transform, they have some issues, they have some problems, they want to go to uh, 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 another, another state of life, another state of being. And I'm just going to use San Francisco to Seattle as an example uh, of where they want to go from and to. Okay, so um, your free content is like an overall map that says, okay, if you want to go from San Francisco to Seattle, you're going to have to go through Oregon, <laughs> the state of Oregon. And then you're, you might go through Portland, and that might be a great place to stop. And, um, but it's, you know, and there might be a, a mountain range here and a lake there, but that's going to be the overall path is going through Oregon and going through this particular city. Okay. Now, uh, your paid content, okay, the paid content is the comprehensive map to say, okay, you should be taking this highway. This highway is the most efficient one. And once you take this highway, and by the way, there's a nice rest stop, rest stop here. And then you might also enjoy this tourist attraction. And then you should stay at this hotel. And then, you know, then you'll get to the edge of Oregon. And then you should go check out this restaurant. And, and on and on and on. Very detailed and comprehensive and makes the journey uh, feel very safe. Uh, very, con they feel confident that they will be able to, uh, to have a very good journey, and that you have led them very well with a with a comprehensive map. So that's free versus paid. Another idea of free content is kind of like, you zoom in on a map to a very popular, very popular location and give a little bit of details on that popular location. So it's kind of like in Seattle, there's a pop popular. Uh, uh, tourist attraction called Pike Place Market and so the map would give a very detailed view of Pike Place Market and like here are the few blocks and you might be aware of this restaurant and that cafe etc and free content can be like that too where you're giving people some tips on a very popular topic on a very sp specific area but if they want the comprehensive map they should buy your course they should buy your book they should buy the, the premium content okay because then they'll be ready to really study it etc again Remember, the person consuming free is just relaxing. They just want to have fun and feel like they learned something versus the paid people are ready to be a student and they're ready to really implement. Okay. Um, another way of thinking about it is the what and the why versus the how. The free content you give can be the what and the why. Let me explain. The what is like the definitions of what is, what is your field about. And what is the major concepts of your field? Okay, what 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 are they? Define them. Give us a get overall definition of it. And then why? Why is your field important? Why is the way you think about your field different than how some other people think about your field? So the philosophies behind it, the overall uh, major pieces of it. But the how, the step by step how, the detailed. You know, here are the pitfalls. Be careful not to do this. And here's exactly what you should be doing step by step and here are the nuances that is the how and the how should be in the paid or premium content the courses the books etc so so does that make sense and the the only the other thing that's important is that teachers i believe that teachers and authors 
should be paid sustainably. Do you agree with me? Or do you think teachers and authors should starve, right? Teachers and authors should have the time and the energy to develop more knowledge to then deliver to the world to help humanity progress faster, right? Because otherwise, what are teachers and authors doing? They are so busy serving clients one-to-one -one or facilitating groups that they don't have any energy or time left to write, to create courses, to create knowledge, to really reflect and consider knowledge and then to bring that to the world. And so if you, so look at the teachers and the authors that you respect, that you follow. I mean, I'm not talking just me, but look at the bloggers you follow, look at the, the other, you know, uh, Instagram people you follow. And if they are sharing valuable knowledge and useful knowledge and interesting knowledge, find out a way that you can pay them. Find out, really, it doesn't have to be a lot, but try to pay them something. Buy their you know, information products particularly so that they will feel encouraged and that over time they will be freed up to have the energy and the time to create, to create more knowledge for all of us to really benefit humanity and help us all grow faster. So I hope that this, is, this helps to give you some perspective about free versus premium content. One more uh, question I want to answer that someone asked me is, well, what if, what if in my free content I just keep giving, 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 I, it's hard for me to stop? Well, you should limit yourself. Well, hopefully some of the things I've said in this video help, but in terms of any particular video or any particular blog post, you gotta limit yourself to how much time you spend on it. A blog post should not take more than an hour to write, in my, in my opinion. That's what I, I take one hour to do a really good draft and actually I take the next day, I take another 15 minutes to kind of edit it and then, and then publish it. But it shouldn't take you much more than that to, to write a blog post. It's free, remember. People are relaxing, they're wasting time, and then they're getting something good for their wasted time, okay? And then videos, the same thing. Don't, tank, don't spend too much time making videos that are free. Um, if you show up as yourself, your true fans, the people who are meant for you, will be entertained without you trying to entertain them. Just you being you is naturally entertaining for your true fans. Not for the people who are not meant for you. They're not gonna be entertained unless you pretend and act and all that stuff. But the people who are meant for you, they'll be entertained just by being who you are. I hope this helps.